Okay, so this is the Yakima Spirit Time rack. And uh, big fan of it, all in all. It's got a better look than the uh, Thule, in my opinion. And you basically just twist this out until both sides of the uh, teeth disengage. Get it to a more or less level position and tighten it back up. And the teeth will get in, automatically engage back in and lock in. And it's not very difficult. You don't need to over tighten it. You just need to get it to where it kind of stops rolling around and it'll stay right there. And uh, holds two bikes. And if you, uh, if you have a suspension bike, there's a lot of stuff going on in between. So you're going to need one of these to go right there. Other than that, it's a great rack. But I do have one complaint and I'll show you that in a second and uh, how to fix it. Okay, so this is the uh, Yakima spare time rack, and you'll see right there, it's got a little bit of an airspace. And I only got about 50 miles on it since I uh, tightened that guy back up. It seems to come loose and come off of the, uh, off of its, uh, its mount. It's like it's uh, vibrating loose, spinning out, slowly but surely. And uh, no matter how tight I get it, it's keeps, it keeps doing that. I like the rack a lot. Um, I like the look of it and all that good stuff, but it keeps doing that. And if, it, if I go, let's say 100 miles, by the time you get out there, it, I can get my fingers right through it. So I'm worried about it eventually coming off. So I think I'm gonna try and uh, do a little homebrew engineering and uh, see if I can improve upon their design just a little bit to make it work properly. Okay, so the uh, plan here is to use some of these screws, which are half inch screws. And uh, I purpose purposefully did not get any with uh, Phillips heads on them right there. So I, what I plan is is uh, to drill a hole on either side, basically through there, and then run a bolt on either side to unlock it in where it needs to be. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tighten this guy all the way up, and I'm going to make a mark on where it needs to be. And uh, then when I, in order to finish it, obviously to get a drill in where it can get in there, i got to take the tire off, and then we'll... Uh, drill the hole after the tire comes off. Got the uh, screw part off and one of the quick fixes I tried was I put on um, the uh, screw itself, I put anti-slip lubricant which is uh, meant to keep the uh, bolts from uh, lubricated but at the same time keep them from uh, uh, slipping. That did not work. Um, if anything it might have made it a little worse but it was already pretty bad beforehand so I don't know if it made it worse but it was definitely something worth a quick try. Didn't work so now we're gonna go nuclear. Okay, so uh, if uh, you didn't have a pencil, you might not need it because there is enough wear and tear on the unit to where you can see where it, where it sits naturally. But if it's brand new and you wanna avoid this problem, just take a pencil. And I always like to mark all the areas, that way I know where it was sitting at before I started. You know, I like to start with a small pilot hole. In, the, in this case, I'm using an eighth inch. And uh, there we go. Ooh. I felt like it went right through. Oh, good. It went through good. It's just fine. Okay. And you can see the entire rack's kind of wanting to come off there. So this could get a little precarious. So we're going to start with this side. And I'm going to hold my hand right against it right there. And I'm observing it is still in the marker spot. Important thought here. I'm going to start with one side and then I'm going to finish the other side later. Okay, so before I kept going, I went ahead and I put uh, a couple of uh, bolts in to keep the thing from falling off because uh, one, it would be bad if it walked off on you, and two, I'm not working alone today. Huh? Say hi, buddy. Yeah. So it's important to keep some kind of safety going on when you're doing this, especially when you got the little guy with you. So anyways, we just switched up to a larger bit, which is closer in diameter to the uh, screws that we're going to be using. And the reason that we did that was because we want to make sure that um, the uh, screws don't strip out as they go in because you only got one shot at this. So here we go. There we be. Okay. 
So, now let's uh, go ahead and run one of the screws in. Okay, so I uh, intentionally chose nut drivers instead of Phillips because I prefer nut drivers for these types of things. They're less likely to slip. Uh, Phillips has the, uh, the the tendency to uh, strip out the uh, head, and if you don't, if you have to remove the uh, the Acma rack, it's going to suck. If you're going to if it gets you know stuck, and you're going to have to get an easy out kit, and it turns a, a quick project into a real long project. Okay, so here's one side. We're going to run that in, good and solid. And now before I do the other side, I'm going to make sure that the uh, screw apparatus goes in and that I didn't mess up the, uh, the ability to actually screw the thing tight. Okay, so I uh, went ahead and test drove that in and it went in just fine. I was a little concerned because uh, I was, if I'd been thinking a little bit, you know, a little bit better, I would have run the uh, screw off center so it didn't have a chance of actually getting in and, and uh, get messing up the uh, threads on that guy. But the half inch work seemed to work out okay. So on the other side, I am gonna move it down a little bit so I don't have that, that potential problem, just in case. Okay, so as with most, th most things in life, you kind of figure them out as you go. I started a pilot hole right in the center. I'm gonna actually move it up and I'm gonna move it a little closer to the edge so I have an easier time actually getting it in once the tire is on. So that's that. Now we're gonna switch screw or switch uh, switch drill bits for our larger diameter. Wasn't quite. Now the nut driver. And one of the screws. And I'm just running the screw in right now to make sure it finds home before I come back and actually have the uh, tire on. All right, so now we're done with that. We're gonna go ahead and put the tire back on and see if we can get it to work. Okay, so we've got the uh, tire back on. We got the rack screwed on back to its original position. It looks like it's not quite over as far as it was. So I can still see a little bit of the marker line that I put on. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if I can get, get this in. One of the things to keep in mind is your tire pressure, if it's, uh, if it's low when you put it on, um, if you put air in it, it could push out a little bit. So that would be something to keep in mind is uh, if you have low tire pressure when you put it on and you don't and you actually keep your spare tire at full pressure all the time then this could these lines might not always line up so i'm gonna see if i can fix that and come back okay so we've got got the screws back in they're not uh, the uh, tire we got the tire back on and we've got the rack back on and it's in contact back here good and tight and we're gonna try and See if we can get this screw in. Of course not. The angle's not quite right. So that's a that's gonna be a bit difficult. Let's try taking the camera off. Okay, so we got the uh, camera off of the uh, drill, and now I can get it in there like a, I should. And we're gonna run the screw in. So that's one side that's in good and tight, and that should keep it from pulling out now. And like I mentioned earlier, this screw hole I put too far back and not far enough forward. <clears throat> I'm gonna still try and get the uh, get the screw in, but it might be a little bit more difficult. But it still worked. All right, I think we uh, now no longer need to be worry about the rack coming off of the uh, off the tire. Okay, well that project is done and. Uh, more power to us. This is our second little Jeep project, right buddy? Yeah. All right, so everybody, thanks for watching. Because it was super entertaining with daddy's boring voice. Yeah, you want to chew on it?
camera? Yeah, join the camera. Ah. <laughs>